As I said in my introductory video, I'm going to make a video, well, I said I was going to make a video on why seeing the mind, the brain, the physical brain as hardware, like computer hardware, and this, our thoughts and our mind as software is a bad analogy, an erroneous comparison. Now, we used to, we've thought we thought this for decades, maybe even a century, that this is sort of how it works. In fact, we designed computers around this model of how we thought the brain works. We thought the brain was digital. It's not. We thought um, um, that it was much like computers are today. So that's why you build computers the way they are, because we thought minds were the same. Um, like that, and they turned out to be very, very different. And their computers and minds are good at very different things. For example, computers are good at things that we consider complex, like math, or large computations, searching through large amounts of data, but they're very bad at things we consider simple, like movement through an environment, or picking strawberries, or something like that. So, the reason it's not separate hardware and software is because the mind is the hardware, the brain, excuse me, the brain is the hardware and the software. The chemicals going through our head are both the hardware and the software. Every thought we have is represented in a, in a neurotransmitter chemical state of our mind and every stimulus input um, changes that state and every reaction to that stimulus changes that state. There is no separation when you take a good look at, at the brain. The, the brain is the hardware and the software. It's not like you can, you know, uninstall parts of the brain um, and put something else in a certain area. Um, that's why when a person gets brain damage in a certain area, that part gets erased because the hardware gets erased, the software gets erased. They're one and the same. And, you know, it's very hard to recover um, other areas of the brain. And when it comes to brain damage, try to compensate, and it's very hard to recover, depending on the age. So that's why the hardware-software analogy works horribly for the brain. And I hope you learned something today.